The holidays can be a stressful time for many, but they're even more difficult for family members with Alzheimer's. In tonight's big story, NBC 15's Marissa Silvis got to know a local family coping with the disease and joins us now with their story. Marissa. Ashley, for the Fabers, it's all about making each moment count. Their mom's experiencing many cognitive changes with Alzheimer's, but their positivity and support help them all enjoy their family time together. Dorothy remembers all the words to white Christmas, but other things aren't as easy for her. A deep conversation or following up on something and expressing feeling, her brain isn't capable of that anymore. The mother of six was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2007. That's a very vivid memory. I was actually um, Christmas shopping when we got the official diagnosis. It takes your breath away. Since then, the family's been learning how to cope with the changes in their mom. When you say my mom has Alzheimer's, people don't realize what that means. And really what it means is, is that you're losing them every day. Here they are singing varsity. Dorothy used to be the life of the party. Now, positive interactions are more challenging. She gets a little more quiet. Um, it's a little overwhelming for her. The acceptance part of Alzheimer's is very difficult. But for the sake of the patient, you have to take each day as a good day. All six of Dorothy and Ed's children were together for Christmas this year. They hoped their mom would make the connection. Would she recognize how special it was? Would she know that we were all there? It ended up being a great day for everyone. She was a trooper. She came and she had a cocktail and she had some appetizers and everybody visited with her. It was really special. Barbara's been involved in UW's RAP study. It stands for Wisconsin Registry for Alzheimer's Prevention and focuses on the children of those with the disease. There's a lot of great work going on here in Madison. We've all gained benefit because of uh, the study work Mom and I have done. The family hopes more people take part in these studies and continue to raise awareness and money for research. It is the way it is, but every day is a blessing. And we're just happy to have her with us. The Wisconsin Alzheimer's Institute shared tips on how to set up your loved ones for success during the holidays. They say to focus on the gifts they still have to give to those around them. Make sure you have fair expectations of your family member. Watch for signs of anxiety and quietly remove your loved ones from the stress if it becomes too much. And use positive communication strategies like slowing down your speech, using eye contact, and allowing time for them to process information. Marissa, thank you.